Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at using the pickle library in Python. This is one of the native packages that comes with Python. So you should be able to just import it right away. And what we use it for is saving and retrieving data. So we save our data to a file and we can pull it back in the same way that we saved it. It's important to know how you saved it to the file because you're going to want to pull it back the same way that you saved it to the file. And we'll go over that in more detail. And also, I'm going to be using the binary, write to binary. Um, that's generally the preferred way to do it. So let's take a look at how we can write to a file here. So on the screen, I have a basic main function, which is going to run uh, when I when I run this module here, and then I also have some dictionaries, three dictionary values, right? So we're kind of mimicking database with our index here. So we have inventory, prices, description for this A1. A2 and A3. So let's save this to a pickle file. What is going on here? So product data dot dat and write binary. That's what WB stands for, write binary. And this is just the name of our file. It's going to save to the same file location that this file is located in as file. So this is opening the file or creating the file in this case. And we're creating a variable. So it's similar to an inverted equal sign here with the as keyword here. We're creating a variable called file. We're going to need that when we use the pickle library. So here we'll do pickle dump. So this is how we dump data into the file. And then we're just going to use these three variables here. Inventory, prices, and description. And we're saving it as a tuple, so we've put it into parentheses. Let's say it is a tuple, and then file. So we're telling we're telling the pickle library which file to dump the data into. That's all we need to create the file. So let's run that. See the file be created, and we can see the file appeared on the left over here. Now, if we tried to look at this file, you're getting a lot of gibberish, but you can see some of the code that we wrote. We see these strings. It's a binary file, so you're not going to be able to read it typically, but that's normal. With open, so now we're going to, I don't know why it's doing that. Now we're going to basically do all this again. So this entire line stays the same with one exception. Now we're going to read it. So how are we going to read this file? Uh, we need to read binary at the file name here. And let's capture this data. Now we want to capture it the same way that we saved it. Important detail here. So we'll just call this loaded inventory loaded prices and loaded so the data that we're loading descriptions and this will be pickle dot load and then we put the file which is this variable right here so with open is opening the file and giving us access to it through this file variable here. If I wanted to be more precise, we could probably call it loaded file. Let's do that. Loaded file. So we're not reusing that variable. 
although I'm pretty sure that variable memory is released. So this should load the file, and now we can print the data. So we have a simple little F string we can do here, inventory, loaded inventory. I did not want it to do that. New line. Actually, this is what I find. And then we'll do descriptions. That should be down here. Loaded prices. Prices. Descriptions. Give ourselves a little breathing room to show all the code at the same time. There we go, that should be enough. That bait is happy, and let's give it a run. There you have it. Our data gets loaded in. Now let's delete this and run it again, just to show from step one here. Save delete. Delete anyway. So we can see our folder is empty. Pickle one, not sure what's going on there. And then we'll run this. And we can see that the data that we dropped in, this is the data that we dropped into the file. File is saved. And then we load it. We can show that with the debugger as well. So let's do that one more time. Debug. Let's show the whole code base here. So we can see we have our dictionary of three different three different pieces of information. We have no file right here. Uh, once we write to our binary file, we should see that file appear. Or maybe not. I'm not seeing it. Okay, but let's keep going. File only appears after my program finishes. I'm pretty sure the file would be there if I think that's a PyCharm detail. Pretty sure if we ran that code. Open in File Explorer. Pretty sure we would see it if we were looking at our File Explorer. Once this bit of code runs, files created. And then we read from the file. So that's how a very simple example of using pickles uh, with some dictionary data. Now, to step it up a notch, you would probably use object oriented programming which we're going to cover on the next video. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.